Greetings, fellow crafters. Tis I, your Hello Queen. Welcome back to my court. Welcome if you're new. I have a post review to do. I have finally finished Daenerys. Stick around and we'll check her out. Okay. So, the painting that I was working on is an artist rendition, an artist by the name of Mandy Manzano's rendition of Daenerys Targaryen from Ger George R. R. Martin's The Song of Ice and Fire. Here she is with her three baby dragons. She's still very young. It's obviously more based off the TV show Game of Thrones than it is off of the original books. But I figured I'd do it for Books and Diamonds anyway. I had started it for Give Thanks Member. I did not get it finished because I started two very large paintings at once. Because I'm dumb. And <laughs> didn't get it finished. Pulled out for Books and Diamonds. And I am now complete. So this is the bottom. This is her lovely blue dress. And we're going to slowly unroll her. You can see. We've got three ABs in this one. We've got some blue AB in here. It's sort of in the seams of her dress. You can see it shimmery shiny. We're going to slide up a little bit more. We've got some white AB in her dress. White AB in the flower over here. We've got some yellow AB. Some yellow AB here. Let's get the rest of her on here. And there she is. She's got some white AB in her hair, some yellow AB in her babies. We got one dragon over here, one dragon here, and another little one on this hand over here. They're still very much babies at this point. Now the reason that I say this is based more off the books then off the sh off the show rather than more than the books because in the books when she went into the fire at the end of season book slash season one the first book and season line up actually really well um when Daenerys goes into the fire she act her hair catches fire she is not harmed by the fire but her hair catches fire so she spends the next while growing her hair back in so when they're babies, she would not have this long, lustrous braid that you see here. Whereas in the show, she has the braid. It's more of a stylistic choice than anything. I'm fine. Like, I, that was not a change that I was terribly upset about. But it is a change. And this does look like the Amelia Clark version of, Tener of Daenerys Targaryen. I love this painting. I'm going to be hanging this painting. I have ordered a magnetic frame and I'm planning to kind of bling it out with her name and house name and all kinds of fun stuff on it. So I, for the most part, working on this was pretty good. The black drills, however, Mandy Manzano uses a lot of black drills. She works with sort of a stained glass look, so there's always heavy black letting lines in her paintings. Like there's heavy letting lines here, all down here, in here. And on top of that, the outside edge of the painting, all the way down to here. And on this side too, there's a fair bit of black in the background. For the letting, I didn't have too much trouble. But in the spots where I had more concentrated black, the, the the drills were not consistent sized. And I was fighting a lot to get the drills to fit together without having popping. Which I was not terribly pleased about. Um, this is my trash from this painting. And I did weed out quite a few, but you can tell a lot of it's black drills. A lot of it's black. It was, it, there was just a lot of trash from this painting, and the black drills especially were very frustrating to work with. I know this is an older canvas for Diamond Art Club, and I've heard other people complain about it too, so maybe this is just something that has to be worked out over time as they get new printings of it. 
but the black drills were a pain in my rump. And I dreaded getting to the edge of the painting because I knew I'd have to start fighting with the black drills. But overall, I love the image. I'm happy I worked on it. I'm happy I finished it. My frame will be here tomorrow. I'm going to spend some time with my Cricut getting like, I want to put um, Queen Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen at the top on the frame with my Cricut and then put Mother of Dragons on the bottom and see if I can get the uh, House Targaryen logo, which is the three headed dragon in red on the black frame. We'll see if I can get all that done. My, I have a love hate relationship with my Cricut Joy. We'll see how it works, but I am so happy to have this done. So thank you for those of you who joined me for this one. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky guys. Bye.